Hey guys, what is up? My name is Lil Bomb93, and today we're gonna go through E3 2018, and we're gonna break each segment down and give you a couple of games to look for in each E3 press conference. Hey, E3 is just around the corner. It actually starts tomorrow, so you know I'm just gonna post this tonight, and then we'll see. So tomorrow, Saturday, June 9th, we get Electronic Arts at 11 p.m. 11 or oh, 12 p.m. Mountain Time. So, I might not cover that one. A um, couple things to look for. Album, anthem. Not album. Ugh, I've just been listening to music and yeah, albums. <laughs> As you can tell. So, we got Electronic Arts. And, uh, yeah. Be prepared for Anthem and more Battlefield 5 news. Including how their uh, Battle Royale mode works in Battlefield 5. Be interested to see how that works. Um, so, yeah. There's that. So the day after that, Sunday, June 10th at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, we've got Microsoft. Microsoft, be prepared for it. We did, uh, they did announce a Crackdown 3 got delayed until February 2019. Hopefully that'll be the last delay. But hopefully they're able to announce a few more just exclusive stuff, not just kind of what they did at E3 last year. We're saying everything was world exclusive premiers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's great and all, but you need content to go along with your great console and the Xbox One X. So let's hope they get Forza. Maybe Forza Horizon 4 is announced. We might not see that till next year sometime, but it'll be announced. Um, yeah, and uh, maybe something from 343 Industries. It'll be interesting to see that. As well, some uh, Sea of Thieves content. Let's see some more of that from Rare. Because Sea of Thieves is probably the most interesting game Rare has had since, uh, well, uh, Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Bethesda, be prepared for something about fo something more about Fallout 76, where it's more uh, Fallout New Vegas, or is it more, is it like supposed, to, is it more like a kind of a online game where it's like it goes on as time goes on. So we'll be looking for that as well as uh, Rage 2 and some uh, Elder Scrolls 6 news. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. So Todd Howard might come out. We'll see. Next up is Devolver Digital. Oh, Bethesda is at 7.30 Mountain. So you want British time. It's 2.30 in the morning, 11.30 a.m. in the morning on June 11th for those British and Australian folks. Uh, Mountain Time is 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, so in case you're wondering. And then we got our late night programming with Devolver Digital. So, um, yeah, Devolver is kind of known for uh, kind of like basically just having fun at E3. Um, they don't really, they announce games, but it's kind of more like, yeah. E3 is this giant spectacle and we're tearing down this giant spectacle and just having fun with it. And that's that that's really cool what Devolver last year wasn't well received, but that's what Devolver does on their press conferences. So be prepared for some interesting stuff from Devolver. And at eleven AM Mountain Time, uh, we've got uh, Square Enix up first. Uh, more Octopath Traveler, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, maybe even see some Hitman. No, we'll see. Um, yeah, maybe Near 2. Uh, that was a Square Enix game. Maybe some information about the next, or some more information about um, a Hitman 2. I'm not sure if I was going to announce it there or at the Microsoft press conference. So be prepared for that one. <laughs> So yeah, that is at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And next up, we've got Ubi, Ubisoft at E3. Ubi E3, hashtag. Um, Ubi E3 2018. Well, we know about the Crew 2. That's coming out soon. So they'll probably have a bit about that. More on Aud Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now we've got Super Mario Odyssey. Now we have to have Assassin's Creed Odyssey right after. Thanks, Ubisoft, for messing me up. Maybe look at next year, possibly getting a, a break from Assassin's Creed and going back to Watch Dogs. So that might be interesting. Uh, whatever that uh, pirate ship fighting game that was at last year's Ubisoft E3. Probably another Switch title as well. 
I'm just thinking about that. Um, I'll probably report on that one because Ubisoft had one of the better E3s last year. I didn't enjoy Microsoft so much. They had a couple of good points where they introduced with Forza 7 the uh, Porsche 911. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. This is a long name. The GT3 RSR. <laughs> they announced that car along with Forza Horizon 7. Um, next up, we got the PC Gaming Show. I won't cover that. Uh, well, Computex was this weekend. And uh, Linus, uh, Linus Media Group. Oh, Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> uh, Gamers Nexus. Hardware Unboxed. A lot of those guys went. And you can go watch their content. Um, I'm a PC gamer myself. But I probably won't be that interested in that. I'm interested to see what Sony has coming up, though, at uh, 7 o'clock Mountain Time. So... Be prepared for that one. Once again, two hours, two hours uh, higher for Eastern, one hour less for Pacific. Um, yeah, and then seven hours for British Standard, and yeah, seven hours for British Standard, and basically thirteen, no, fourteen hours for uh, the Australians out there. So yeah, that's that. Um, so June 12th, Sony, uh, be prepared for more about Spider-Man, uh, Days Gone, Tetris, maybe even some new hardware. You might see it a little tease for the next-gen PlayStation system, um, which might be a little bit more, um, yeah, so that'll be interesting. Maybe they'll break out something huge like, hey, we're streaming all our new games now or something like that, like Microsoft is doing right now with Xbox Game Pass. And finally, last but not least, on Tuesday, June 12th at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, they do 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. British time, and 2 a.m. Australian time on June 13th. <laughs> I was still up at night. Uh, Nintendo. And my favorite, uh, currently my favorite. They had an E3 last year. It was pretty good. I mean, we're going to get more e more Smash, more Metroid, more Yoshi, maybe some Bayonetta 3 because that was announced last year at Game Awards. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't expect a whole lot from Pokemon because Pokemon doesn't really have a presence at E3. And plus, we did see actually quite a bit more than people realize with the short trailer that we got with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And it's coming out in October. I doubt we're going to see anything about the 2019 core games. But if we do... So be it. It's supposed to be a 45-minute press conference for Nintendo, at least. That's the one I do know. Um, but the other ones I don't know a whole lot on timing and about. So I'll be reporting on Microsoft, Bethesda, um, Square Enix, Ubisoft, Sony, and Nintendo. Um, I might group Square Enix and Ubisoft together, uh, depending on how long they go. Uh in the same video probably i'll do separate chunks and i'll be like well that's not long enough so i'll just chunk it into one then sony and nintendo will definitely be separate videos because they're separate days apart from each other so that'll be interesting um i might do a report on the splatoon 2 uh tournament as well as seeing what the new smash is like we'll see uh that'll be day one coverage actually so monday uh smash tournament <laughs> so we'll see a lot about the characters are bringing back into smash uh six smash five i guess this would be smash five yeah so yeah anyways that is my time for today i hope you guys enjoyed and as always be sure to like favorite if you're hyped for e3 what are you hyped for post them in the comments below and yeah i'd like to see you i'd like to see you in the next video as always stay balmy <laughs>